Hello, I'm Nancy Schroeder. I'm the president of Edgewater Community Council. I've just completed my first year. I'm a third year resident of Edgewater. Hello, I'm Aida Kolasik and I'm the acting executive director of ECC. Okay. Well, we all, actually, we also have an education committee. And uh, the purpose of the education committee really is to support our neighborhood schools. Uh, we have one high school and... Called. Four grade schools in, in Edgewater. SIN has, the, in terms of diversity, SIN has more languages spoken in it than any other high school in the city. It's over 100. And one of the neat things that SIN does every year is they have an international day where the students are encouraged to dress up in their native costumes and they also have uh, people performing. Their folk, folk dances or drumming, you know whatever it is it's from their country that they want to do. And they also have like a parade of people coming, you know, the students coming in to, to show off the costumes. And it's a terrific uh, program. It's open to the community and people should try to find out when it is. ECC will be announcing it this year. Mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's just a terrific experience. Other than that, the the schools are pretty proud of the diversity. I think it does create some real um, challenges for them. But they've actually been doing this for so long because the diversity has been here that they seem to be able to, to um, handle it. In fact, some, many of the top students at SEN are children of immigrants who actually speak English as a second language. So I think, I think that speaks well to that. Um, there are problems, obviously, and challenges in the school systems here. We wish they were better. That's been a real concern in the community, is just like in other Chicago areas, many people come in and they buy houses, and when their kids get to be five years old, they leave. And that's still happening. And just to add, um, the schools are really working with the community. They send out their students to do community service learning hours with different organizations. One of them is ACC. They help us with our, with the Edgewater Gardens. Um, they work with our after school program with our seniors. Is SEND some kind of academy these days? Or do sort of they reshuffle something or other there? Um, the um, Rick Over. Yeah, the Department of Education has placed Rick Over Naval Academy in SEN. Uh, this happened about two years ago, and it's still, it's, every year it takes a little bit more of the high school until they reach their full four year complement. It's been a real controversial issue in the community. Um, some people are very concerned about it uh, because it does take some space from SEN, and it also is. Uh, has the potential of eliminating a, a separate program for uh, kids who need some special help that has been in SEN for a number of years. Other people support it. Um, they see it as an opportunity and another educational opportunity for kids, so it's been incredibly controversial. How long did you say that's been? A couple of years? It's, it's been Boy, how time flies in a year and a half now. Um, they've been at SIN. Yeah, you know, I'm. I don't know. It's, okay. I think it's a. I, it's been about two years. Because I'm not sure if this is the second class or the third it's class. The class. Is it? Okay. I started after I started working here. Okay. So this it was done. The academy, the uh, naval academy, was put in SIN about a year and a half ago. And they're in their, their second class now, their second year. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you.